Hey, ladies and gentlemen, is that your name? I think it is. I know it is. Okay, it's not. I'm Scott. No, I'm not Scott. I'm Bob Doyle. That's why they call it Bob Doyle Show. Sometimes I like to do this, and other times I like to do that. So, put them together, and what do you get? It's the Bob Doyle Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Bob Doyle, the host of the Bob Doyle Show. And what you're listening to right now is the theme song to this show, the Bob Doyle Show, as proven right now. It's the Bob so you see, if it's sung, you know it's a real thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the really loud applause, which is, of course, appropriate because, as we have established, this is the Bob Doyle Show. So I will now fade the theme out and uh, that's the way that works. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to all of you. I, I First of all, I want to make sure that everyone is gathered around the the old uh, podcasting set, whatever you use. Are you listening on your headphones? Are you listening on speakers? Are you broadcasting to theaters, arenas? How many people... How many of you are, are, are traditionally listening to the Bob Doyle Show through an arena system? I'm talking 30, 40, 50,000 seat uh, or more. Uh, maybe 80,000, something like that. How many of you normally listen? Just a few, I'm guessing. Uh, and then I'm wondering, what color are those speakers? Because we were, there were some people we were wondering. Anyway, uh, that's, not why we, that's not why we're doing the show today. The reason we're doing the show today is because the last time I did a show. You may remember, of course you do, because you're a loyal listener, and you, and every time you get the notifications from iTunes that the Bob Doyle Show has added another episode, you immediately respond to that push notification by clicking it, downloading the episode, and listening to it while you go about your day, whether you're doing dishes or walking the dog or washing your clothes. Those are the only three things you can be doing while you listen to the show. That's not true. I was just making that up. Obviously, you can do lots of other things. Like, you could do 17 other things. You know? So, I'm just saying. Today, we are, of course, broadcasting uh, from a really crappy headset. I did not uh, plug in the good stuff, which I should have. Why didn't I? You know why I didn't? Because I forgot that I think I have all the good stuff right here in the drawer. I'm going to peek. I can't do it now anyway, so don't get your hopes up. Okay, just relax. Mm, nope, the good stuff, as I'm referring to it, is probably in the next room. And that's just what I'm referring to before your mind go in this weird place, because I don't know what you're thinking. I'm just talking about an interface that would allow me to plug in a better microphone. You know. But I didn't. This was a spur-of-the-moment decision. One that I may live to regret. Or I may not. You never know. Anything could happen. Weird, huh? That would be, that, that'd be something. That would be something if I was just talking and then I just wasn't talking anymore. This would be the longest episode. I think it would end... It ends in a hundred and... Wait a minute. How many more minutes? 176 minutes. I could go 176 minutes. I'm going to stop the... the <laughs> I don't know why I went down that avenue. If any of you were keeping up with what avenue I was going down. So I do these shows live anyway, even though I know that no one listens live. Even Don and Belinda, who used to listen live every now and then, have stopped listening. And it's okay. Because first of all, no one's getting notified unless they subscribed. I need to push the podcast a little bit more, though, don't I? Or do I? Because really, what is this podcast? We're taking calls to find out. Sir, what do you think this podcast is? Oh, well, it sounds like a lot of information about uh, tacos. See, that's not, we're not talking about tacos at all. Oh, but I, the one time I was listening to the show and you said something about tacos. It, you know what? If I did, I don't even remember what it was, but I can tell you for sure that the show is not all about tacos. 
Okay, well then I was just taking a guess. I understand and I appreciate that very much. Ma'am, you're on the air. Hello! Hi, um, do you have an idea about what this show is about? Well, I've been listening for about, um, 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 I'm just roughly... It doesn't really matter exactly, just like a week, three weeks, a year, four years. One, one, like the last three minutes, and so what I can surmise is that this show is somehow about you doing a show. That's what I'm getting so far. Uh, well, if you've only listened to this... Just the last three and a half minutes, it's really not, it's not really, uh, I mean, I appreciate the fact that you called, but it's not really enough to assess the direction of the show and what the show's about. So, um, so I guess taking calls, not a great idea. So you'll notice that, uh, I know you're, you're probably looking at it right now, you're probably going, I, I have other things to do, but I cannot take my eyes off the title of this show. Which, uh, wow, I don't even remember what it was, but I know it was something about taking a leap of faith or jumping off a building or something like that. Jumping off and building wings. Because this, this right here was a prime example of not really ha having anything that I wanted to talk about or discuss. So I have been going for 6 minutes and 27 seconds, totally have said nothing. Nothing at all. And yet you have been riveted riveted. You have not been able to take your ear away from this thing, nor should you, because this show is like a massage for your ears. And then it goes deeper than that, right? You're listening to the show and you get this little, you can kind of feel the vibration in your ears going, yeah, yeah, this is a good feeling. And the more I talk like this or just, you know, draw it out, the vibration gets a little bit more and your head just sort of vibrates a little bit and you just find yourself relaxing. And especially if you're wearing headphones, right? It's just a nice, easy thing to listen to on well, any afternoon, evening, night, day, or morning. You know, we're not out to hurt anybody. We're just, we're just here hanging out. So, you know, I'll just talk to you like this and we'll just... Well, just relax together. What do you think? What if I did the whole show, the rest of the show like this? Let's pretend that it's nighttime where you are. If you're in the East Coast, it definitely is. As I, as I broadcast this, it is 8.04 p.m. Pacific time, which means you East Coasters are well into 11 p.m. Some of you are probably laying down to bed right now, just trying to relax, easing your mind and body into a state of total relaxation and focus in the moment, leaving your cares and worries somewhere else. I was going to say at the doorstep, but I thought that the word doorstep was too like that and not pleasant to listen to, especially with this stupid microphone that I'm using on a headset. I know that kind of ruined the whole vibe we had going there, so let's get back to it, shall we? Just lay your head back onto that nail. Oh, I'm sorry, not a nail. That's not going to work. We're going to need something else uh, in here because the nail, not going to be. Nerf ball. I, there's a Nerf ball right there. Just put that where the nail was. Okay, great. All right, here we go. Just lay your head back into the Nerf ball and take it. Oh, well, no, you're going to have to balance your neck a little bit better. If you keep... Yeah, obviously, if you keep slipping off, that maybe it shouldn't be the football. Do we have a Do we have a Nerf basketball? Okay, there, something bigger. You know what? Maybe just a pillow. Do you have? Is there a pillow in here? Okay, great. Use the pillow. All right. Just lay your head back on the pillow. You should take those uh, metal shoes off. I don't. I've never really even seen metal shoes, but those can't be comfortable. Maybe you just take those off. Do you have socks on? Oh, you don't. Okay. Oh, okay. So here we're gonna, here's where we need to open a window. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, well, you know, just to let air in <coughs> a little bit. Okay. So you just, all right, here we go. Let's get back into the vibe, shall we? The back into the vibe. It's been a long day. You've been productive. You had your to-do list and you knocked off every item like a champion. You should feel good about yourself feeling grateful and satisfied for a job well done. And now, you're gonna, is there a cat in here? Because I'm hearing a cat.
Sorry, I just, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> just trying to fix these microphones too. All right, so let's just relax. Let's just forget about the cats and, and the windows and any other noise or any of the thoughts that are disrupting your smooth and effortless flow into a blissful state of total relaxation. Don't think at all about the bills you're late on and the phone calls you got threatening legal action. Try not to think about the fact that you don't have any answers to these problems and chances are things are going to get really, really bad here in a couple of days. And instead, focus your thoughts on more positive things like, well, just breathe. Breathe deep and slowly. In fact, if you breathe slowly enough, Well, you'll get a big surprise, but it has to be super, super slow, and I can't really describe it to you. It's part of the code. I can't, I mean, I could tell you, but, you know, I've just, I've been asked not to by some very, very powerful people. Okay? All right, can we just leave it at that? Because, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't need any trouble, and neither do you. So... Let's just, again, close your eyes. Don't picture any grotesque images or don't think any disturbing or sad thoughts. Just relax. And now I want you to imagine a huge, freaking, like, monstrous column of a white light. But I'm talking, not, I'm just not talking big. I'm talking like unfreaking believable. Like it freaks you out a little bit. Like you know you should be relaxing, but there's something about this is like such a big column of white light that you're going, um, is this an okay amount? Because this seems excessive. This I've done a lot of white columns of light. This one is a little, it's like that. But just relax because hardly anything bad can happen. So just imagine that you're basking in that warm, did I say it was warm? It is warm. In fact, it, I don't know what your tolerance for heat is. Uh, it's pretty warm. And, uh, and the more you focus on it, it just kind of gets warmer. I, 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 uh, warm is the only word I'm allowed to use, but let me just, let me just, uh, I'm just going to say it's on the warm side of warm. So you need to kind of prepare yourself. Um, if you're sensitive to, like, burns of any kind. <clears throat> so just take a deep or a deep breath. Neat breaths are for more advanced meditators who understand uh, neapology in general and have studied it for several years and a neat breath is an advanced concept which I did not mean to throw into the mix uh, as it could confuse you and of course if you know me the last thing I want to do is confuse you which is why they molly mama on the greenness so anyway let's get back to your pillow I don't know why you've sat up all of a sudden and it, are you reading a magazine Excuse me, we're in the middle of something. Okay, well, it looked like you were reading it. It didn't look like an eye relaxation exercise. Okay? All right. So let's, can we just get back to this? All righty. So lay your head on your pelt. Lay just, would you just do it? Thank you. All right. It's better if you don't cross your hands like that. I'm just saying it's better. I don't know. Someone told me that. It, I don't... Why are you making this so complicated? All right. Okay. i tell you what we're both going to do right now. What you and I are both going to do is, at the same time, we're both going to take a nice, deep, cleansing breath. Couldn't you use some cleansing? You certainly could. Okay, so here we go. Nice, deep breath. 
Now let's hold it for a couple of seconds. And exhale. All right, so just a tip that in the future, before these sessions, if you have eaten red onions, it is generally considered polite to brush your teeth if you're going to be exhaling in the vicinity of others. Um, just a note. I'll email it to you as a reminder. So by this time, you should be in a nice, deep state of relaxation, somewhere between waking and dreaming. This is a very highly suggestive state, and therefore, zebra stripes are yours free. And now, as you drift off to sleep, what, what do you mean? Look, don't question my methods. That's no good. That if you if you question my methods, then that what you know what that means. It means it means that you're not present. You're not in your head. I mean, you are in your head. Excuse me. Right. So, whenever you're feeling yourself criticizing anything about what I'm doing or ever do, just know that it's you, and not me. It's you, and not me. It is only when you get that as a truth, as a fact, that there's any opportunity for growth on your part. Okay? As long as we are clear on that. Well, what have we here? It seems to be a ukulele, but I think, as I recall, it sounds really bad. When, uh, with this little speaker here, so I don't want to actually do it after all. I always regret using this microphone, and yet here I am doing it again. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why I say gentlemen. I don't know that a man has listened to this podcast in, uh, uh, I would say ever, but I think we've actually had, I think we've had it happen. But now, you know, just any living, breathing human being, I'm, look, I'm telling you, again, I know we're several of these shows in, but one day. One day, each and every one of these episodes will be like audio gold. Digital audio gold. DAG is what they'll call it. It'll be featured in DAG magazine. But not right away. We won't even be discovered until after a year or so, after DAG magazine has, has, uh, but has become, become published. And yet, after only six months after us being featured, the finding of all of these podcasts and being featured as digital audio gold for that particular issue. This program has, of course, become synonymous with DAG, just as Kleenex has become synonymous with facial tissue, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the story of DAG, something you probably never knew. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, I, how about if I just, I'll take this opportunity uh, to share a little bit about what's happening on in the world of uh, the Bob Doyle Show in general. The focus has admittedly been, over the past months, month or so, on the law of attraction uh, version, if you will, of the Bob Doyle Show, because we were going through a big product launch for Wealth Beyond Reason, which is... Anyway, it's my Law of Attraction program I've been selling for a long, long time, and it was a re, sort of a relaunch with all new systems and so on. So there's a lot of activity around that, and part of that activity was me doing a lot of live streaming of Law of Attraction Q&A over on the Law of Attraction Facebook page. You're like, the Law of it. there must be several Law of Attraction Facebook pages, and you would be correct. But this is the 
Law of Attraction Facebook page with four and a half million likes. That, my friends, is a lot of likes. It's a lot. And when I broadcast over there, there are hundreds of people listening to me every time. I think I've probably said this before. So I've been obviously putting a lot of my attention over there and will continue to. And we just actually launched a group coaching program today. So it's ironic that a lot more, as, as the Bob Doyle show in and of itself was supposed to be a statement to the world of, I am walking away from that part of my life to some extent. I'm actually doing it more and enjoying it more than I ever have before because I'm doing it in sort of the Bob Doyle show style. So I get to do both. So it all works because I started to realize right away, well, the message is still in me. I still want to do it. And the, and the live streaming is just like, oh, this is perfect. I get, to, I get to still help people with the law of attraction stuff, but I can do it like the Bob Doyle show. Uh, I'm not quite as silly when I do it over there at the law of attraction.com page. Admittedly, those people are there for answers. But I'm still in there. Oh, yeah. If you haven't checked it out yet, well, what are you waiting for? It's free, you know. I'm never going to send you a bill for it. For it. You know what? I, I'm not going to promise that. Because I think one day it'd be funny if just one day I did send you a bill for it. You wouldn't have to pay it. You know, unless you had entered into some formal agreement where a signature was involved. You know. It can happen. I can't rule any. I can't rule anything out. I'm a, I'm an unpredictable guy. I bet you didn't know I was going to say that. I just proved my point. What does this do? Well, it clearly creates a very loud clap of thunder. Those are my enthusiastic fans. They love it when I can identify sound effects. Well, you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. It means it's 19 minutes after the hour, which means nothing to you as a listener to a recorded podcast, which, as I speak, applies to no one on the planet except for me. Isn't that interesting? Here I am. There's people who would say, Bob Doyle from The Secret? Bob Doyle from The Secret? You must get recognized all the time. Da -da 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 -da. You know, where you'd, be, you'd think people would be clamoring, right? He's on the air. He must have something to say of value. Well, I know where to go to find that audience. But out here, it's just, it's, just, uh, it's a different world, isn't it? Now, could, this, could I have cultivated my career a little differently back then after The Secret? Oh, I think I could have. If I'd followed my passions a little bit more, if I had been clear on what I wanted to do with my life, if broadcasting technology had been around like it is now, things might have come together. But you know, my friends, I had to walk the path I walked just as, well, just as you have to walk the path you have to walk. So all the things I did and all the things I didn't do, they're all perfect and they've led me here. And now I get to start all over creating a new career. And yet, perhaps the old will blend with the new. And the new audience I find over at this new page will somehow follow me into the world of the Bob Doyle Show. That is the goal, after all. And then, and then who knows what happened, my friends. Not me. I don't know. I can't see the future. Well, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't limit myself because I can create it, can't I? Well, I, let's put it this way. Here's the honest truth anyway. This is much more, much more, it's much more accurate. I'm not going to get attached to it looking any particular way from an egoic sense, like the, the, the Bob Doyle show has to have thousands of listeners or any of that because that's not ultimately why I'm doing, I'm doing it because I love doing it. But do I have other goals and aspirations around it? Of course. Would it be cool if it became like a financially profitable endeavor and I still just got to be a goofball? Of course it would. Of course it would. So, you know, I can create that vision. 
And every step I take and every broadcast and every recording that no one listens to or one person listens to is a step in the right direction. Because, ladies and gentlemen, let's face facts. Chances are you fell asleep during the relaxation part of this. And maybe you're just waking up right now. You're opening your eyes and going, who is this guy talking? Oh, yeah, what was I listening to? Is this Bob Doyle? Did I fall asleep? I fell asleep listening to the Bob Doyle show. What What was he talking? What was he talking? Oh, wait, wait. He was purposely trying to put me to sleep. But there's something weird. There's something weird. There's something weird about it. Anyway. And anyway, now you're listening to me say all this, and you're like, man, you're in my mind. You're reading my mind. Stop reading my mind. You're still doing it. You're still putting words in my mind. You not. You have to stop talking so I can have an independent thought. Stop doing this. Stop saying it over and over and over again. I need a break so I can have a thought because you're programming me what to think. Every time you talk, you're putting thoughts in my head. Don't think of a purple elephant. See, you're doing it. Wow. One of the most frustrating Bob Doyle shows you probably ever listened to. But you know what? I fought the good fight. I did what I said I was going to do. What did I say I was going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Anyone remember? I jumped without a net. I jumped and let the wings sprout ever so grandly on my way down to the bottom of whatever is at the bottom, which in this case is the end of the show. So I'm starting the theme music, and I'm snapping my fingers in real life, too, along with the recorded snap, because it's just so catchy. And I want to always talk in rhythm when I listen to this song. Is it a song? Just officially became one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to this, if you did, and even if you didn't. Thanks for being possible in, enough in my life that I went through all of this and did 30 minutes with absolutely no content whatsoever. I didn't even follow up on the cruise that I talked about in the last episode. I had nothing, no content. Gotta feel good about that. Yeah,